Hello, welcome to this tip and trick video. My name is Thomas Frison. The goal of this video is to discover the potential of the add-on module Advanced Tools. We start with the function corner blend. In this example, the three main fillets are already made. We need to select them in the good sequence. See little picture. You can then choose your transition and directly modify the shape via the small arrows. The second function is helix. This is specially made for side windows. All parameters can be modified live, like the height, but also the angles. And if wished, we can change the rotation, center and direction. Accelerated surface. You first select the spine curve, then the reference. The surfaces are already created. Then you can influence the length, the transition, the distance from the spine curve. You can modify the shape. You can also easily invert the directions. Three tangent fillet. You first select the two surfaces and the limitation. You can define the transition, the factor, You can also define the side relimitation, like in the classical fillet function. The second fillet tip allows to work with an offset option. The gap function. First select the curve and at least one surface. Define the distance. Notice that it could be negative. Define the gap position compared to the curve. There are five different gap types. Define the wish continuity. And you have the full control of all parameters like angle, tooling direction, Length. And both sides can be handled differently. Tube allows you to quickly and easily create an open or closed tube. It 
helps to create tube geometries as part of gap or lever piping, for example. Fillet plus or advanced fillet. With advanced tools, you get some additional capabilities like 3 radii or 2 chordal length fillet. With flat region, you can simulate the shop floor flatness ruler to detect spring back issues. You get a graphical or numerical feedback. Leveling. It allows you to check the flushness of different body panels. You select an object and then you select the reference. Nominal actual value comparison. The purpose uh, is to display the deviation between different models. In this example, we analyze the deviation between a CAT model and a scan. You get a nice graphical and editable feedback. Clearance analysis allows to measure the clearance between edges and part. The measured area can be dynamically changed via the option. The analysis can be made from specific viewpoints. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please put your questions and feedback in the comments.